before we wrap this up, would you want to play a, a quick game of this or that? I would love that. So if you don't know what this or that is, basically we'll tell you two things and you have to pick either this or that. Are you ready? Um, yes. This, I mean, I have a list and it's whittled down to like not the best ones, but we have a great guest, so I'm sure you'll have really... I want the answers. best ones! Should I just rehash some of the best no, ones? No, 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 <laughs> no, I'm not done yet. This it. is... Go for no, it. No, but, but Andrew, <laughs> this, this is... the season finale. This is our season finale. I'm the finale, yeah, bro? callbacks. Yeah, you're the finale guest. Oh, God, I gotta, I gotta show my nipples or something. Like, I gotta make this big. <laughs> All right, I'm going to show my Look right out. nipple to the camera. You can edit it out if you want. Here's my right Dude, nipple, what were, you, what were some of your favorites? Ooh, you didn't ask that one yet. That's a pretty good one. I don't think I should ask that one because he's in trouble right now. Oh, okay, never mind. Someone's canceled. We're not asking that one. Oh, yeah. is it about Michael Jackson? Is that why? No. It's not. Is Michael Jackson canceled? Uh, I always thought he was, even yeah. until the day he died. But when he died, everybody flipped the switch and said, no, he's good now. And then God. that documentary came out last year. That's and people are still like, eh. That's kind of what I'm asking because, like, it's it's basically irrefutable now. In my mind, he's canceled. Okay, okay, for sure. That's just me, though. Everyone has a right, you know, because then you get in the conversation. Do you separate the art from the artist? And you can, you know. That's another can of worms for sure. Yeah, we don't. We definitely don't have to get into that. Yeah, but in for my sure. mind. Um, he did some really questionable things. I respect that. I respect that. Forget about. Are you a breakfast or dinner man? Uh, dinner for sure. That was your favorite. That one was your favorite out of all this. <laughs> I'm, I'm <hungry. laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. What was your answer? <laughs> um, dinner. You said dinner. Pay attention. You said dinner. Like, what's your? If you had to, if you were like in a last meal situation, what would your last meal be? Just dinner. Fuck. Yeah, just just dinner. <laughs> just dinner. Uh, I don't know, dude. It would probably be. God, I really fuck with the 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 chicken sandwich at Wendy's. Like Ooh. just straight up, just like I think it's a number five. Because, I may yeah. be mistaken. But yeah, probably that. Definitely dinner though. I don't really eat breakfast that much. Oh, you're one of those? Oh. I don't eat breakfast that much, but I, I love breakfast foods. I just don't eat a lot of breakfast foods at breakfast times. I'm more likely to eat, like... I'm the same way. Like, I only eat cereal past, like, 10 p.m. Yeah. Like, oh. I never have cereal in the morning. It's always, like, a late-night snack. So I was talking to my friend at work today, and we were saying that cereal is confirmed better at night. Yeah. I will also yeah. say... It's, I will... it's a soup at that point. Yeah, it's a soup. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Um, I also want to say, the reason why I don't really eat breakfast that often is because I take a lot of shits in the morning, like, <laughs> like upwards of four, minimum two, and that's like prior to to like noon. So breakfast in a single day, you start your day rocking, dude, dude. In a single day, in a single morning, <laughs> like like that's why I don't really. What are you draining? Like, what did you eat? How many that cups you need of coffee are you drinking? Man, I dude, I could eat a stick. Uh, a stick. I could eat a steak. I could eat a fucking fish. I don't like. It doesn't matter. I could eat fruity pebbles. It, it it's weird, man. We don't have to get into my bowel movements, but I know four days is a lot. No, we're on the topic. We're yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Season finale. This is what the people want to hear. <laughs> well, uh, I don't. I, I I wish I had more to add on about this. Uh, well, I'm I'm glad your I'm glad your body is, is healthy. It seems like what is it? Would you say it's healthy? We're gonna though? we're gonna say healthy. <laughs> I'm so interested. We're not gonna we're not gonna delve into this. I I I, I, I want to assume it's healthy, so I don't have to see a doctor about my shits. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see. I'll keep you guys posted on on my bowel movements. You'll go there. You'll go to the doctor. You'll be like, pussy. I'm taking five. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. See if I care. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I need another this or that. <laughs> that was seriously... I t- told you people very... Yeah. <laughs> that makes me feel so bad because all the other ones are... Or unless you have a better one off the top of your head, Eric. Um... Oh, wait. And- do you have to go, Andrew? I'm sorry if I were holding you. I'm, I'm, I could talk to you guys all night. You guys are killing it, by the way. 
No, hey, you're thanks. killing it, dude. Not- Doing great podcast answers. Dude. Yeah, it goes a lot better with 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 uh, guests that have a lot to say. Yeah. Oh. We had we had Pete Klein on from Santa Wave last episode, mm-hmm. um, and we admittedly we didn't know him very well, right? Because we we our introduction to him was through the split that we did. And then we didn't meet Stan and Wave until, like, years later. Oh, right. Um, right. And th- I, that was such a great conversation we had with him. Yeah. We feel oh. like we're really good friends with them now. That's yeah. so sick. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start, a, I'm gonna start a, a Dungeons & Dragons campaign with him. <laughs> Dude, that's so sick. Yeah, he, he reps Dungeons & Dragons hard. I love- we got into it. Because it's always something that I've been interested in but never really dove into before. And then when he mentioned that he makes everybody, like, do the character voices, that was when I was like, oh, okay, I gotta play with this guy. Yeah, Eric, you'd be good at it, because you're kind of quick, <laughs> you know, like, you're witty, and I feel like you have to be with Dungeons & Dragons, like, you have gotta be on your toes the whole time, so I feel like mm-hmm. you would really be good at it. Well, yeah, that, uh, hopefully it'll happen soon. True. You got it, this or that? I... All right, this or that. Shark Club front men. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'll leave. I'll leave. I'll leave. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You don't have to answer that. Um, <laughs> I'm tr- I'm really like playing it out in my head. Jake's <laughs> taller than me, so he might have he? a height advantage. Yeah, but I feel like you're. I thought you were taller. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I for some reason I have this idea that he's just like, just like superhuman. <laughs> like I can't explain. He's pretty it. great. Um. <laughs> all right. Anyway, yeah, we got to. You were you were on this podcast before Jake was on this podcast. Are like, you... We have yet to have Jake on the podcast. Oh my goodness, dude! This is the start of Shark Club drama right here. <laughs> this is a scandal. <laughs> <laughs> When's our reality show starting? When's our reality? <laughs> You, yo, you, you guys were like this or that, Andrew or Jake. <laughs> all right, you got a fucking question or what? Go, bro. Should we just read all of them and then cut out the ones that are most boring? Well, let's just read one we haven't done yet. They're just not that good. Um. You can you can ask the one I told you not to ask. Drake or Josh. <laughs> Drake is canceled. One of them is ca- Drake is canceled. I don't know if he is canceled though. I don't know what came up came up out of it. He did do that cover of Gucci Gang not too long ago. That enough should have canceled him. <laughs> Holy shit! I didn't know he was canceled. What did he do? I don't. I don't know the full situation, so I don't want to say the wrong thing. I think essentially, he was when he was really popular on Nickelodeon he was dating somebody a little younger and now she's coming out and saying that he was um, verbally and mentally abusive I'm not sure about physically but right now I just remember the situation was left to it was he said she said um, but you know nowadays uh, if anything comes up people are not um, willing to be really forgiving about it. Yeah, for sure. But don't let that influence your decision. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> okay, well, I'll tell you a story. Okay. Um, I had this friend named John Manger when we were kids. He was my best friend in preschool and, like, at the beginning of elementary school. We went to different elementary schools, but we still hung out a lot. And when, when Drake and Josh was obviously at its height when I was, when we were in elementary school and everything. And whenever we would play Drake and Josh, because... We had to play Drake and Josh. He would always be Drake. So I guess Josh, because I'm Josh. I don't like. Not that I didn't want to be Josh, but like, you had no choice. I had no choice. Yeah, nice. options are good. Yeah. It's good to have options. No one wants to be forced to be Josh. Yeah, <laughs> I will say this: if I'm watching like a TV show or movie that's not Drake and Josh, and sometimes Josh Peck shows up, and sometimes Jake Bell shows up, I always get more excited when I see Josh Peck. I was gonna say, as a kid, I like watching the show. I didn't like Josh. I thought he was kind of annoying. But now, when I watch the show as an adult, oh, he's the best like part. Drake sucks. Yeah, his character is just like, so is... predictable. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, Josh. Josh is the Josh is the funnier character. He's the better character. Hot take, but I'm I'm saying it. I, have you guys ever That's watched what this podcast? Is about the the fucking jo- Josh Peck has a YouTube channel and he's a vlogger. Yeah. 
I try not to watch that. Dude, <laughs> so, it, yeah, it's a little crazy. It's hard. Yeah, dude, it's hard to watch. It's like he's faking it the entire time. Yeah. It sucks. I mean, it's just the, that's the energy that a lot of those vloggers have, like just being over, like a little extra. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. But, I mean, I hope he's doing well. Yeah, for sure. Love you, Josh. Keep doing you. Love you, Josh. <laughs> Josh is definitely watching this. Josh Peck is a huge fan of the pod. Josh, he's looking down on us. <laughs> <laughs> Josh is God. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's do one more. Okay. See, none of these are good, right? They're all good, Russ. You did a great job. Yeah, no, this is great. Does it, like, Hamburgers or hot dogs? That's, that's a good one. I guess. I mean... <laughs> Unless he's a vegetarian. <laughs> no, yeah. No, tofu, no. Or, tofu dogs or, or, or uh, Impossible Burgers? <laughs> Yo, Impossible Burgers are not bad. I, I think burgers. I love tofu dogs. I, I've never had a tofu dog. Burger? Yeah, I, I think burgers... I don't know. Hot dogs are kind of like like isn't isn't it just every part of the animal? Like it's kind of it's, yeah. it's kind of that's why tofu dogs are pretty good. You feel a little bit better about eating them. They taste yeah. the same, but you feel a little better. Yeah, for sure. I went through a pretty me and my girlfriend went through a pretty big hot dog phase during quarantine. What's the best burger you ever had? A specific time or maybe a, just like the place item. that you go to maybe regularly that's got a solid burger. Yeah. So there's this place called Boston Burger Company. And it's just really? it's in Boston. It's pretty close to my apartment. They have pretty good burgers. There's this one called the Hot Mess. And it's got Thousand Island dressing, onion rings, uh, tomatoes, lettuce, and the burgers are just really crispy and beefy mm. and Juicy, really fucking good. Um, have you guys ever had In-N-Out? No, I've never been yeah. to California. Yeah, it's the one I I haven't done. I haven't done that, and I haven't done okay, Whataburger. Gotcha. I haven't had done Whataburger either. I was just wondering because there's a there's a big debate w- between Shake Shack, which is like an East Coast thing, and In-N-Out, yeah. which is the West Coast, obviously. But sorry, yeah, I just wanted to I wanted to see what you guys were thinking. <laughs> I, I I like Shake Shack. It's definitely a little pricey, but um, I definitely want to do some In-N-Out and. Compare because I hear about I hear about what, what they call the Flying Dutchman, which is like um, it's like burger patty with cheese in the middle. Am I right in saying that? We don't Ooh. know the menu. We don't know the menu. I, hey, bro, couple, I don't fuck with guys in New Jersey. Just a couple guys from New Jersey. New Jersey. Are you guys sheets or Wawa? Wawa. We don't even have sheets. Yeah, here. we don't have sheets. I've never been to oh, sheets. Oh, really? You've never been? I've never been either. I mean, I've seen them, but like I've never. I, I'm 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 a I'm a Wawa loyalist. Oh, okay. I can respect that. I can respect <laughs> that. People around here they say Quick Check or Wawa, right? Yeah, like Quick Check is the North Jersey thing, and Wawa is more the South Jersey thing. Okay, that's interesting because I have a Quick Check about 15 minutes from my house. Welcome to North and Jersey. And I never. What did you say? <laughs> I said, "Welcome to North Jersey." Yeah. No. <laughs> a little slice of home. But I, I never mention Quick Check because I feel like there's 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 it's, kind of a disconnect. It's not the same. Yeah, We're gonna alienate our North Jersey viewers here, but it's it's not the same. Like if I can't go to Wawa, I'll hit up a Seven Eleven before I go into a Quick Check. Damn, bro! I fuck with Quick Check. Sorry, I didn't realize there was hate with this. <laughs> it's not really hate. Like I just I've never, I don't even I think I've it. ever even walked into Wawa. <laughs> it's not easily uh, as accessible in our time at least. 